Hey guys, everything new under the sun. ZeroHedge.com. This is not Fukushima. This is a mysterious nuclear accident, apparently, uh, that uh, they're picking up there, um, getting wind of, uh, in, in a literal sense, um, uh, in Europe. Concerns grow about a nuclear incident in Europe after spike in radioactive iodine levels. Concerns about a potential and so far unsubstantiated nuclear incident reportedly in the vicinity of the Arctic Circle spread in the past week after trace amounts of uh, radioactive iodine-131 of unknown origin were detected in January over large areas in Europe. Now, I thought the uh, iodine-131, I thought that was a signature of Fukushima. I could be wrong. I just did the video on Fukushima. But that 131 seems to ring a bell. Um, uh, according to a report by the Institute for Radiological Protection and Nuclear Safety, the French National Ex Public Expert in Nuclear and Radiological Risks since the isotope has a half-life of only eight days, the detection uh, is an indication uh, of a rather recent release, as the Barents Observer adds, uh, where the radioact radioactivity is coming from is still a mystery, so it can't be Fukushima if it's only an eight-day uh, half-life there. The air filter station in Svanhoved, located a few hundred meters uh, from Norway's border to Russia, was there a nuclear accident in Russia? Um, uh, Russia's Kola Peninsula in the north was the first to measure small amounts of radioactive iodine-131 in the second week of January. Shortly, at, shortly thereafter, the iodine-131 isotope was measured in Rovaniemi in Finnish Lapland. Uh, within two weeks, traces of radioactivity, although in tiny amounts, were measured in Poland, uh, Czech Republic, Germany, France, Spain. Norway was the first to measure the radioactivity, but France was the first to officially inform the public about it. So governments know about this stuff. And here's an example that mainstream media does not tell you about it. Uh, governments don't tell you about this stuff. Um, you've got to leave it up to um, alternative news sites, parent fake news sites, uh, to, to release this a, a lot of the time. Iodine-131 is a radionucleotide. Well, let's go back there. Uh, of anthropogenic origin uh, has recently been detected in tiny amounts of ground level in Europe. Preliminary report states it was the first uh, first found during week two of January in, in northern Norway. So let me go up to an infographic here. There's the, uh, the particulates being seen. Um, no health concerns for now apparently. Mitigating some of the concerns however was the head of Section for Emergency Preparedness of Norwegian Radi uh, Radiation Protection Authority, who spoke uh, to the Barents Observer and said, Levels measured raise no health concerns, but we do measure small amounts of radioactivity in air from time to time because we have very sensitive measuring equipment. The measurements at uh, Svanford in January were very, very low, so the measurements made in neighboring countries like Finland. Um, so were the measurements uh, made in Finland. The levels raised no concerns for humans or the environment. Therefore, we believe that, that this has n had no news value. How about just informing the public just in case uh, so that uh, we, the public can put pressure on the government to double-check findings. Um, they, they shouldn't be uh, not releasing this stuff out of fear of public panic. Um, this should be wide open in the public so we all know what's happening. No explanation where the, the uh, radiation comes from. Finnish authorities also underscore that the levels measured are from a concentration that could have uh, could have any uh, uh, effect on human health. Neither uh, Stuck nor IRSN speculate in the origin of the release iodine-131. Um, I guess uh, I guess the question is: <clears throat> uh, Is there a nuclear reactor in Russia? Do they have another nuclear? event of some sort that they're, you know, they're not going to spread that information, obviously. Um, but here's some uh, tweets from uh, U.S. Uh, aircraft. WC-135C Constant Phoenix, used for detecting and identifying nuclear explosions, is airborne over Florida, tracking north. So they've got uh, aircraft in the air. Uh, as the avi aviationist explains, the uh, WC-135 Constant Phoenix has been used in the past to determine whether nuclear tests or detonations have taken place in any region. The WC-135 is a derivative of the Boeing 135, okay. The WC-135, known as a sniffer or weather bird by its crews, can carry up to 33 personnel. 
interesting stuff. And so basically, they're they're uh, sending out aircraft to look uh, to look for this, to try and track it down. So I'd be interested to see where the the highest levels are. So uh, you know, it's not very not quite obvious there. Um, France is uh, you know showing uh, a lot of uh, radiation levels there. Anyways, it is what it is. Another uh, mysterious nuclear event. Uh, you know we can't keep having this. This is poisoning humans. Again, uh, you know climate change is maybe up and coming. Um, I, I deny the uh, the the uh, what they say is the reason that climate change exists. Um, I, I don't believe that uh, humans are the sole cause of it. I don't know if they would suggest that. I don't know that humans are any major cause of it. I think the Earth is going through particular cycles. Um, I think these are the clear and present danger of our planet, our Earth right now. These nuclear leaks, these need to be capped. Let's focus our energy on this, Fukushima, these things, and then maybe we can put some effort into uh, being good stewards of the Earth um, and uh, and looking after that. The, the most um, poisoning, the, the thing that's most poisoning the Earth right now by far is Fukushima, the amount of radiation that's leaking from that thing right now. And they're, they can't even look at the damage, let alone start trying to figure out how to deal with the damage there because robots are dying. And you can you can uh, listen to my whole uh, my whole commentary on that in the last video. I'll, I'll leave it there, guys. Um, th this is crazy. This is going to poison a lot. I'm glad I'm not in Europe. Uh, Man, they are the front lines for a lot of stuff uh, in these end days. And uh, we're sheltered here in North America. We are blessed in North America, although the West Coast is getting a lot of the Fukushima uh, radiation as well. So uh, won't be sheltered for long, I don't think. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.